Hey, how's it going? Swatch with me. Prang. Eight watercolors. This is the set. I've had it for a long time. I've had it so long that the cover has changed to now it's like mostly blue. And they show it with a little handle and it goes this way. And right now on Amazon it's selling for $5.62. I don't think I bought these from Amazon. I, I didn't buy these from Amazon. And I've had them for a long time. I've had them since the early 90s, I'm going to say. And not only do I have this one, I'm going to swatch these eight. Oh, that. <laughs> and I'm also trying out these purple gloves. Cool, right? Okay, these purple gloves are purple palms. How do you pronounce that? Nitrile? 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 Gloves. First class coloring gloves with rolled cuff. And also I'm trying out this uh, silicone mat that's underneath. The bad thing about a silicone mat is it attracts a lot of things like cat hair, dust, <laughs> to name two really annoying things. Okay, so I'm gonna do I'm gonna do these because I have the 16 half pan set of Prang watercolors. Also, I've had since the early 90s, and as you can see, look at, look at that color right there. <laughs> And that, what was I doing? Anyway, I don't have any white. And so, Prang does sell, uh, these come out, and Prang does sell the, I can't get it out there. Just a minute. Okay, this is what they look like. These are half pans, not very high. And Prang does sell these individually, but I can't, if they don't have the white listed. They have every color but white listed, so I thought that was interesting. Anyway, I'm going to list the Amazon listing, $5.62 for this one, and $10.90 for the 16 set. I'll, I think I'll list both of them for you. Both of these sets were made in the USA. If you need to know that. <laughs> okay. Let's get started. Eight whole colors. And I, I gave myself a lot of room here. And the paper I'm using is Oat Art Studio Hot Pressed Paper. And it's the one that has some texture to it. Look at that already. It has, let me show you the texture. Yeah, you can see that. So I thought, well, let's use that. Okay, I don't know if these are going to work. They should work, right? These have five-star reviews. Of the written reviews, or customer reviews. Uh, oh, yeah. All of the reviews, there are six of them. They're all five-star reviews. And that's not to say that this has a five-star rating. Let's see, I may have put too much water on there. I don't know. Whoa, cool. And this is a brand by Dixon Ticonderoga. You know, the pencil people? The pencil people. Whoa. <laughs> Vibrant in the water there. Let's see, does it come off all the way? Nope. Keep scrubbing. It's going to take some time. I thought I'd wear my gloves because I'm messing around with watercolors. <laughs> I'm not a very neat and orderly person when it comes to watercolors. Let's see. Oh. Very vibrant. Yep, yep. And once again, not enough water. I need, I need some help. Oh, I guess you want to know the colors, right? Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, brown, and black. Um, I noticed that 
the yellow here has some green mixed into it. Even though I barely use these, I noticed. Oh yeah, that works. That's a nice color yellow. It's not too bright. It's not too light colored, I should say. green so if I can get the white then I'll do I'll do the 16 color set later I will look I'll look maybe Walmart has the white maybe one of the online art stores has the white who knows Oh, way too much. Nice color blue, though. Whoops. <laughs> Come up here. It's a royal blue. Cerulean blue? Royal blue? Now, there were... There were 17% one-star ratings, but none of those people gave a review, a written review. So I don't know, that could have been packaging, you know, or not. Maybe they got more than one color or more of one color. I did read from, uh, you know, I didn't even look, maybe Canada or United Kingdom when they give international reviews. Somebody said uh, he, she got um, two, two blue, maybe, was it? So that was a one-star review. Hold that, Tammy. That is, I would say violet. I might actually change that. Or maybe I'll put violet in parentheses or something. I can try these with watercolor and sea salt. <laughs> I wonder if Prang has watercolor markers. Yep, that's brown. These are very vibrant colors for being... How old are they, Tammy? <laughs> old? I can't do the math right now. I'm on video. And last but never least, black. Wow. We'll see how, how they dry. If they... They dry matte, I believe. And look at that. I just ruined all my water now. It's <laughs> I still didn't get it out. Boy, it's hard to get the paint out. That's interesting. Which uh, watercolor paints that I most recently do or swatch? I cannot remember. I didn't have. I don't think I had any problems getting the paint out. I will give it a thorough wash. Okay. So have a look. See here. Of this set of eight colors, which one or ones are your favorite? I'm going to go with violet. And blue. I like the blue one. The violet and the blue. But these are very vibrant after so many years. Okay. Also, 
the next time I, I swatch, I'm going to do another set of watercolor mark, um, watercolor paints, I'm sorry, and these are also made in the USA. I'm going to show you what, what the, what it looks like. This set I'm going to do, so you'll see that in two weeks. Semi-moist watercolors, uh, made in USA, Montrose products. So I'm going to look that up. I don't know if they still exist or not. But I'm going to swatch them, and this is, how many? 16 colors. You know, it doesn't say, like, there's nothing else on here. <laughs> there's nothing else on there. Just that little label on the top, and the lid is cracked. And, oh, these these did come with a brush, but I, I have no idea where that brush is. Uh, let's see. These come out. Very, uh, oh, they might work. Very interesting colors, too. So, while these pans come out, these do not come out. They are part, part of the, of the thingy. Oh, and they squeak. See how. And I don't know how old these are. But I am going to swatch them for the first time ever. It doesn't even look like I've touched them. Maybe I'll touch them first. Touch them with water first and create a doodle or something with them. And then I'll swatch them. I don't know. I, I can't make up my mind. Please comment, like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching and have an artistic day. Bye.